It's purple. <laughs> Can you imagine this? A purple pizza dough? Hey everyone, today I will be making ube pizza. I went to a spot in Oakland called Spinning Dough, and after trying their ube pizza, I was inspired to recreate it at home because of how unique it is. For those who don't know what ube is, it's a purple yam from the Philippines known for its vibrant color and sweet nutty flavor. 105, that's perfect temperature. Ube has always been a dessert flavor to me. Growing up, I enjoyed desserts like ube ice cream, ube cake, ube jam, and even ube pastries. But in this video, I will try something new and incorporate it into pizza, which will be savory, of course. For this particular pizza, I will follow Spinning Dough's version by making bechamel sauce with ube ricotta cheese, followed by preparing the toppings of Italian sausage, thinly sliced potatoes, and purple onion. Scallion is also a topping, but it totally skipped my mind to include it which is a bummer because I really like scallions. First off, I will be making the pizza dough, which will be enough to make two pizzas. Tears off very easily. Time to put it back. All right, that's good enough. I'm going to pour oil on my hands to get this out of there. After kneading it for about 15 minutes, I'm going to oil it up and let it rise for a few hours. Success. It's purple. <laughs> Can you imagine this? A purple pizza dough? While waiting, it's time for me to prepare the rest of the ingredients. To sauce up the pizza, I'll be making a simple bechamel sauce. I say simple because all it takes is mixing together melted butter, flour, and milk. I used 21 grams of butter and 15 grams of flour, though I added more flour later on since I thought it wasn't going to be thick enough. So in total, I used equal parts butter and flour. To cheese up the pizza, I will combine ricotta cheese and ube jam together, Congrats. along with a bit of honey, because it's not an ube dish without having a bit of sweetness in there. To make it look purple, I will be adding just a bit of ube extract so that it stands out when placing it on top of the white sauce. For the first pizza, I made it quickly and in a messy way since I was very hungry at this point of filming. But for the order of assembly, I added in the sauce first, followed by the ube ricotta cheese, and then topping it off with potatoes, sausage, and purple onions. This pizza wasn't sliding off the peel, so I had to use the pizza blade to help ease it into the pizza stone. I did it! I came up with that solution on the spot, and I'm pretty proud of it. 
Even though this tasted really good, I felt like something was missing. This pizza seemed to have a bit too much purple, so I figured I could add another color in there. One idea I came up with was to add shredded cheese at the top of the second pizza to mix in that golden color along with all that purple. Time for the second pizza, which I will attempt to make a bit more visually pleasing. To do so, I will flatten the dough and form it into a perfect circle. Well, almost. Upon tasting, the sweetness of the ube ricotta cheese stood out to me, and the ube flavor of the dough was distinct. The ube flavor paired well with the sausage and the purple onion, and I'm sure it would have been much better if I included scallions. But even without it, it was still amazing. I was skeptical when I first heard ube and pizza in the same name, but now I can say that it's definitely worth giving a shot. Overall, it was fun making this and it felt kind of odd at times because it would cross my mind that I was working with a purple pizza dough. But after tasting it, the sweetness of the dough went really well with the sauce and the toppings. Also, I feel I could have put more effort in making the crust thicker and look better, but let's save that for the next time I make pizza again. And that is it for me in today's video. Thank you so much for watching and remember, here at our virtual table, we make this a place to inspire and learn. If this video inspired you to make this, or if there's a certain way that you make this dish, let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell to stay tuned for next week's video, where I make spicy Thai basil chicken with coconut rice. See you all in the next one.